Hi guys, this is AndroidPipe.com and I'm here with the tablet called Xiaomi Mi Pad and the game Leo's Fortune that was released on Android quite recently after being a huge hit on iOS. You will play as a little 40 ball, he's called Leo, and someone stole his fortune, his golden coins. Leo's Fortune is priced at $5 and as I said I'm playing it on the Xiaomi Mi Pad tablet. Okay, so the controls go like this. I chose the virtual buttons on the screen, not the standard touch gestures. As you can see, to move around, you just press left or right. And then there are two more controls. One of them allows you to inflate and stay like that with the button press, will allow you to float and fly a bit. And the other one will let you become heavier in order to squeeze to tighter spaces or push down weight-based puzzles like I'm doing right now okay there is a gear here a spike one that we have to avoid the idea is to get all the coins if possible and these coins are actually the traces to your lost treasure one of the purposes of these levels in uh, Leo's fortune is to get all the coins, finish the level in a certain amount of time and with a certain amount of deaths. These are three objectives that you have to fulfill in order to complete each level with a maximum level of stars. One star means the ideal time, one star is the ideal kill number and another star is getting all the coins. Okay, so there's a little ball here. Let's see if we can make it jump. And we did. Get another puzzle solved collecting more coins be very careful when you walk like this with your head down because you have to follow a certain pattern to keep that walk the graphics are beautiful as you can see beautifully colored very well designed and the game looks really great also the sound effects are quite nice it's very childish and very pure in a way and even the story is cute you'll meet several other characters like Olga and other relatives of Leo's and try to find that evil guy who stole his money. Okay, so this is it. We have Polish graphics. This one is a platformer. It's basically a combination, if you want, between uh, Rayman and Badland. This time you control a blob with fur. And now let's go to Aunt Olga's level. Things get harder here. There are 24 levels in this game. Some of them include physics puzzles, and as I said, touch controls pretty much suck, so I opted for virtual buttons. This is part of the storyline, and this is Olga, and let's play some more. There is also underwater gameplay, you have to push crates, avoid spikes, and uh, there are some clever puzzles in here, I must say. Some of them are based on weight, others on water physics, and many more. It's usually a good idea to stay away from traps and things like that. Things that fall. By the way, when I press the inflate button, I also do a small jump, sometimes a bigger one. Okay, so now I have to stay away from that rolling barrel. And I just got stung by spikes. Now I'll be chased by a barrel of spikes. And check this out. This one is a weight puzzle. If you know your physics, you'll get it right. I see that this level is Egypt themed, so I'm probably somewhere around Egypt or Greece or some area close to that. And I got spiked again. So let's see how we can handle this puzzle this time. Okay. And the ball seems to be coming back, so it's quite interesting when you have to face it like this. So got spiked again, would be a good idea to pay attention to your surroundings, I'm guessing I would have to go this way, try to avoid the spikes and create a certain amount of uh, slipping that will allow me to ricochet back into that area. But this is too hard, so let's go back, play some other levels. Leo's Fortune is a very popular game, everyone is talking about it, everyone is spending $5 on it because it's actually worth the money. Unlike other games, other platformers, it has clever puzzles, it's fun, you have to love Leo. I'm guessing that at some point, just like Rovio did, there will be toys out with this little critter. 
What I don't like very much is his voice. I have nothing against Eastern European accents. I have one. But his accent is a bit overstated. Okay, so we got here. We're on a chimney. Seems to be an easy level so far. Wait till you get to the water. That's where the hard part comes in. There's also this wheel and we have to stay away from the spikes. Every once in a while Leo has a, a sarcastic comment like I'm not sure this is a good idea, oh my, a puzzle, and other things like that. The game is suited for both children and adults because it's fun, it's also clever. It may be a bit difficult for kids or even frustrating. I got stuck at some point not being able to roll in a certain area. Once again, kudos for the graphics of this game. The makers who are uh, Senri and uh, 1337 did a very fine job with this title. So let's try another game, another level. There are also bonus levels, by the way, with special tasks to perform, like uh, this one, for example, here. You have to do laps around the track in a certain amount of time and beat the best times. Okay, here we go. You have to use all your abilities like inflating or deflating and try to score the best time possible. There seems to be sort of a circus thing going on here. Once again, crisp graphics. Got to love them, got to love Leo and love these puzzles here. So, one lap gone. My maximum achievement, I don't know, maybe one lap and a half. The idea is to find shortcuts and other ways to boost your time or your speed. Funky music in the background. Let's see if we can get to lap 2, we're hurrying up, 3 seconds, 2 seconds, 1 second and almost there. Another good thing about Leo's Fortune is that there are no in-app purchases, overall it's a very nice game, it's very fun to play, Leo is very lovable and we give this game a 9.6 out of 10 here at AndroidPipe.com. Bye bye.